Sigiri occupies a unique position among heritage sites of Sri Lanka, attracting many local and foreign visitors. It is considered one of the best examples of a royal township complex, with an unmatched combination of urban planning, hydraulics engineering, architecture, art and disciplines extant in South and Southeast Asia. This gigantic rock, Sigiriya, stands about 360 meters above mean sea level on a beautiful plain covered with rare species of plants and trees. Archaeological excavations prove its history dates back to prehistoric times. In the 3rd century BC, Sigiriya was used as a monastery and in 477 AD, King Kashyapa transformed it as the center of his kingdom. The Great Chronicle of Sri Lanka, the Mahavamsa, records that in this royal township complex, King Kashyapa built his palace on the summit of the rock, imagining a second Alakamanda, and dwelt there like the god king Vesamuni. Sigiriya was protected by ramparts, walls, and flights of stairs. Of them, the main entrance to the Sigiriya rock fortress and palace, which faces north, also known as the Lion's Paw, is a breathtakingly beautiful edifice. The constructions on the summit of the rock, 200 meters above the surrounding plain, is a marvelous monument. The area on the summit is a stepped plateau of about 1.5 hectares and has ruins of buildings, including the palace area, a smooth flat stone throne, gardens, a pond scooped out of solid rock, paved pathways and flights of steps that are the finest samples of extraordinary technical skills and creativity among contemporary craftsmen. On the southern and western sides of the rock, there are two cubicles grooved into the solid rock, which seem to have been used as guard points. The world-famous frescoes are synonymous with Sikiri, representing the golden era of Sri Lanka's heritage in murals. What we can see today is but a few in just one section, but there are references in the graffiti that 500 damsels have been painted on the entire western face of the rock. The frescoes show damsels from the waist up and celebrates female beauty painted in a classical tradition of realism. Different opinions have been expressed as to the identity of these figures. Some say they are the king's consorts, others that they portray lightning and clouds and yet others believe that they were sylphs. A striking feature in Sigiriya is its mirror wall with its smooth glazed plaster. This well-preserved wall contains graffiti inscribed by the visitors in the past in the form of Singhala verses expressing their romantic feelings on seeing the paintings of those beautiful damsels, the palace and recalling the fascinating surroundings. This is a fine sample of very early Sinhala folk literature which is of high literary significance. This ancient royal urbanity reflects the glory of Sri Lanka's heritage in multiple aspects and in considering its uniqueness, UNESCO declared Sigiriya a World Heritage Site in 1982.